Well, welcome back to Yosemite, everybody. Uh, I'm back out here. Uh, it's the first, no, second of May. Um, drove down last night. We stayed at a little rest stop uh, in the van last night, and me and my buddy Alex are back out here again. I'm excited to be back here. Uh, last year, I was here a couple weeks earlier, and we definitely didn't have any like spring conditions like we have today. Um, yeah, a couple years ago, I had great beautiful springtime conditions last year it was still like kind of in between uh spring and uh spring and winter so i'm looking forward to uh, getting out today and the next couple days i'll be out here for just uh, about two and a half days three days uh to yeah just kind of see what i come away with it's been a while since i've been out last trip was in january down to death valley so looking forward to just being out here and just seeing what the light does the light's starting to come down the canyon walls right now so I know it's going to light up and these uh, spring trees back here should be catching some light. I see a little scene I'm going to kind of key in right now and kind of see what, uh, see what I get from there. So thanks for following along and looking forward to the trip. It's pretty early right now. It's uh, is it oh 6 30 so not terribly early i guess but i guess it depends on your definition of early oh some ducks old duck family over there it's cute um yeah we're gonna get some really nice uh light coming in through the valley here it's gonna light up all these green trees here that are just kind of kind of budding i was out here a couple of years ago and the way it just lights up out here is just so beautiful i'm really excited to kind of see what it does this year. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's been a minute since I've been out about, been out here. So it's, you know, a lot of people say the valley's overshot and all that stuff, but I, I don't know. I always have a good time coming out here, coming away with, or trying to come away with something new every time I come out. So I don't know. I always, uh, always feel inspired when I come out here for sure. But, you know, everyone's different. Um, you know, it's not probably the most immersive nature experience just because of all the people, but you can still have like quiet moments, which is kind of what I'm trying to do right now. So yeah, um, I have my long lens on. There's like this, like an old, like a dead tree. It's like half of it uh, fell off at some point. Um, and yeah, I have that kind of framed up right now. I'll see what that looks like. It may turn into something I share, maybe not, I don't know. But either way, I'm just gonna enjoy the morning and see, kind of see what I see, but yeah, just beautiful, beautiful morning today. Oh, and the dogwoods are blooming. So I'm gonna try and find some uh, find some dogwood photos while we're out here. Um, a couple of years ago when I was here, I was trying to kind of time it with the dogwood bloom and I missed it by just a couple of weeks. So I'm excited to be out here um, this time while they're blooming and hopefully find, come away with some compositions on those. So we'll see, but beautiful, beautiful place, beautiful morning. This is the composition I framed up right now. I have that dead tree in the middle with a few of the other trees kind of behind it, sort of framing it, and then the green foliage. So I'm hoping once the light hits, it kind of makes that all illuminate. So I'll kind of see what it looks like. But um, yeah, looking, looking forward to see how this turns out. Alright, finished shooting that little part of the meadow I was in. I'm gonna walk down here. There's lots of uh lots of light coming through right now, so 
looking forward to, I say looking forward to, I mean, I am, I guess, but I also just really like shooting out, shooting out here. I just don't get tired of it, especially in this, this environment, I guess. I don't know. It's a beautiful day. Whoop. I have the camera or the tripod at full, ooh, at full um, extension here. There's a lot of really cool light coming in through the valley right now. So might try and shoot that real quick and see what other compositions I can come up with. It's been a beautiful morning. I'm just absolutely psyched to be out here. Thanks for following, guys. So yeah, just kind of shooting the light that's coming through the valley right now. And I also found some kind of cool patterns in the, uh, um, in the ground cover, the plants and stuff that are over here. So kind of trying to pick out maybe some more intimate or abstracty stuff there. We'll see how that shakes out. But yeah, just the light coming through today is just amazing. So I'm really excited to just kind of keep shooting and see what happens. I mean, great thing about this, especially with a telephoto lens, is I can shoot all day long and not have any problems. I mean, I can find compositions anywhere, depending on, or I mean, no matter what the light's doing. So I'm um, just going to take advantage of this right now and then can see where the morning takes us. Um, probably shoot out here a little while longer and then move down a ways and figure it out from there. But yeah, just really, really great, great morning so far. All right, well, I think we're gonna move on down, get back to the van and kind of find another location, kind of figure out our plan for the rest of the day. It was really, really nice um, shooting out here this morning. I really like this area of the park, but yeah, it's just, yeah, I'm just gonna probably sound like a broken record. I'm just psyched to be here. So looking forward to see what the rest of the day brings us and let's kind of go from there. But um, yeah, the conditions here are perfect. Um, it's a bluebird day, but that it's funny because I was telling Alex on the drive in that I used to, if I was driving in like say five or six years ago and I would see it, you know, there's no clouds or anything, I'd be kind of bummed. I can get like a burner sunrise or sunset or something. Now I'm stoked because, you know, just the way the light, you know, rakes through the valley and stuff, you can find so many little pockets of beautiful scenes, um, especially with like a telephoto lens. So I'm just excited to be here to uh, hopefully find some more of those. So looking forward to the rest of the day. All right, well, I'm back on the trail on the west side of the park. I'm just uh, kind of shooting the water right now. I got a few uh, water abstracts. I think those actually turned out kind of cool. So I'm interested to see what those look like when I get them back and process them. But um, I'm kind of looking for some 
uh, isolated dogwood blooms um, with the merced in the background. Um, there's a lot of really cool blues and greens and oranges and yellows and stuff in the water. So I think that mixed with the white of the, of the dogwood bloom will look pretty good. Um, so I'm just kind of looking around for stuff like that. Um, it's, all, it's about 10 or so. What time is it? Sorry, quarter to 11, way off. Um, we're in a good spot right now to um, find other compositions in the uh, dappled shaded areas. Because I mean, you can really shoot all day when um, you just kind of know where to go when the light changes. So right now I'm just kind of getting, um, yeah, more like water abstract, kind of impressionistic stuff, which I kind of like doing. And then kind of looking for those other compositions if I can find them. So um, yeah, we'll kind of see what the rest of this trail looks like. I've been on this trail a few times, so I have an idea of where it's going and all that, but um, haven't been here with the dogwood bloom. So I think that'll be really nice. Well, I think we're gonna kind of finish up here. Um, I got a few little water abstracts that I liked. I'm not sure. I didn't really find any of the dogwoods um, kind of framed up how I really was hoping to find them, but you know, I'll be here for another couple days. So I'll just keep looking around. No, uh, nothing really jumped out at me, but it was a beautiful day out here. Um, I think we're probably gonna pack up, hit the van, probably drive down the other side of the valley and get ready to check into our campsite and then kind of figure out the rest of the day. But yeah, the, the waterfalls are just blowing up right now. The snow melt's coming off and you can see the Merced behind me here is just kicking off pretty good right now. This is a beautiful time to be here. So really, uh, really fortunate to have the time to make it out here for a couple days. All right, so I'm back in the valley. We're uh, kind of shooting along the Merced right now. Um, light's kind of just cresting over the uh, top of the granite cliffs here, and I'm just kind of looking out at the uh, at the walls for anything interesting. Um, I did shoot. Sorry about the wind; it's probably a little uh, windy um, in the in the audio here. But um, we're shooting along the Merced here. There's a lot of people on this like narrow trail I'm on, so I didn't do a lot of video there. But um, I got a little bit of the last light on these trees here. Um, I did a wider angle shot. I'll show that in a little bit, I think, um, as long as it turned out okay. Um, and then I'll probably do some more water abstracts and kind of see what the light does on the back walls behind me. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna spend, uh, spend the evening out here, kind of see, uh, yeah, just see what the light does and watch for some good compositions, hopefully. So we'll see what the rest of the evening holds for us. And then we'll probably head back to camp and get dinner and settle in. We're gonna do one of the, uh, waterfall trails I think in the morning um, to see what that looks like and yeah uh, yeah just gonna spend some some time out here it's really nice and quiet overall I mean there are people but um, later in the afternoon it's pretty nice in the valley I think uh, people kind of start tapering off and you have some more time to yourself middle of the day is really kind of hectic here so we just hung out at the van at our campsite and took a nap so uh, pretty pretty easy afternoon but beautiful day here
All right, good morning. We were on one of the uh, waterfall trails this morning. We got started pretty early. And uh, it's pretty much straight up right now. So um, we're gonna keep going. I'm trying to, I'm hopefully hoping to try and hit the uh, kind of like viewing area of it by the time the sun crests over, but we'll see. I think I'm almost there. A little ways to go. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a leg burner this morning, but it's, uh, it's been nice. Nice cool wind coming through, so it's at least pretty temperate, or you know, it's kind of refreshing walking in these open, exposed areas. So, anywho, gonna keep going and then uh, see what we can find when we get up there, all right? Whew. Beautiful though. Well, just finished up hiking. Um, got down, gonna head down to our campsite and get a, get some uh, get some breakfast. I think um, didn't want to wait for the light. Got kind of cold, tired. Got some abstract stuff, so we'll kind of see how that all shakes out. But um, yeah, it was a it was a fun morning. It was a good hike. Um, you know, sometimes expectations you gotta manage those, and you know you don't always get the shot you're coming away with. That's okay. Um, yeah, it was a pretty productive morning otherwise, but um, yeah, it was fun and it was a good hike. So yeah, just hungry, ready to get some food. So we'll see you back at the camp. So we had some breakfast, had some coffee, back in the van right now. I just made a little granola bowl with some yogurt and fruit because I'm still hungry and my blood sugar's low. And then, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go kind of tool around the valley, find a place to hang out for the night, um, and maybe this afternoon. So kind of just probably chill out for a little bit and then kind of do some exploring and see what looks good for tonight. But it's been a pretty good morning, kind of relaxing now, but yeah, all in all pretty solid. And that was a pretty good hike. Got the, got the blood pumping for sure. But, um, uh, yeah, looking forward to the rest of the day.
I made it down to, I'm just along the Merced right here. I'm actually really close to where we have our van parked and the, the road is literally right behind me. But there's a lot of cool like patterns and I don't know, like there's a lot of water texture and there's like a bit of a color gradient right now. So I'm kind of messing around with that a little bit. I don't know if anything's going to turn out. I've kind of done a few like test exposures and I don't really know if I like them right now or not, but I'm going to kind of mess around a little bit more. There was a little reflection of a tree I was kind of messing around with in a, in a puddle, which was pretty cool. Um, but it's really just nice time in the middle of the day that you can, you know, find a shaded tree and plop next to a river and, you know, just kind of mess around with your camera. These are the uh, things I kind of gravitate towards uh, now. And, you know, I still take, you know, big scenes and everything else, but these are, these sorts of things are kind of fun because, you know, you kind of expand your creativity that way, I think. So I'll be kind of messing around down here a little bit more and um, probably take a break, kind of hang out, maybe take a nap or something and then um, find a spot for the evening and then, um, yeah, settle down tonight and then we'll shoot tomorrow morning and then probably head back. Um, to Northern California, but yeah, it's been a great trip. Um, it's kind of quick. I mean, two, two and a half, three-ish days or so. So I always like to be here a little bit longer, but you know, with small kids and stuff at home, um, anytime I can get out for a few days um, to kind of, you know, be creative and stuff is uh, time I don't take for granted for sure. So this is, uh, it's been a great trip and um, yeah, just having a good time and kind of shutting my brain off and doing what I love here. So I think that's uh, that's worth a lot to me, I guess. So anyways, we'll be down here a little while longer and then kind of see what the rest of the day has in store for us. I'm probably gonna pack up here along the river and probably go take a little rest. Um, yeah, a little tired. Uh, a little dehydrated. I'll, I forgot to pack water on my hike uh, up to the waterfall this morning. So smooth move, dum dum. That was mistake 101 this morning. So I am um, currently hydrating with a uh, electrolyte packet in some water. But uh, yeah, man, I've said a lot, but I just love it here. It's, I don't know, I'm always so inspired to shoot here. Um, probably more than the desert, I think. Um, I like going to Death Valley and Utah and all these places, but every time I come here, I just have so, so many good memories here, and I just love trying to come away with new stuff. What, I don't know, it's just, it's just good. Uh, yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna pack up here, head back to the van, probably take a little nap or something, and then we'll kind of see what happens for tonight. Um, have a little bit of an idea for what we're going to do later so we'll see um but thanks for following along i appreciate you listening to my ramblings about nature and photography and anything like that so we'll see uh we'll see how the rest of the day goes All right, so bug. We uh, we stayed at the uh, little beach area for a little while, and uh, I tried some stuff. I don't know. I think nothing was really kind of poking out of me as far as you know compositions and stuff. So we uh, kind of came out to the meadow. Um, I walked around here a little while and got a little bit of the uh, fading light on some of the trees. So that one looked okay. We'll see what that looks like when I get into post. But um, yeah, the light's kind of fading in the valley a bit. Um, and I'm prob, I mean, I'm probably done for the day. I don't know. Um, I mean, we might hit one more spot on the way back to camp or something, but we'll see. Um, so we'll probably shoot in the morning. It's supposed to rain is what I heard. So we'll kind of see what the weather looks like there and kind of figure it out. Um, but yeah, as if you haven't been able to tell a lot of my photography is very reactive and I mean, I don't have a lot of stuff planned. We just kind of 
go to a few different places, see kind of what looks good. I mean, I just look around for, you know, compositions based on that and what the, I mean, what the light's kind of showing me. And that's really been my approach over the last couple of years. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, that approach I think is kind of giving me more longevity. So that's, uh, yeah, it's been working for me. So anywho, um, there's a mosquito on me, which I don't love. Um, so yeah, probably go get some food and settle down for the evening unless we uh, go somewhere else. But other than that, back to the van. All right, well, welcome back to my last morning in the valley. Um, just settled down last night. Um, got up a little bit later. We normally get up pretty early, but today we got up at 5. Wow, really slept in, huh? <laughs> um, but I'm just kind of hanging out along the river again until uh, see if the sun pokes through. There's a cloud bank coming in from the east there, and they're actually supposed to get some snow tonight, potentially. So um, after uh, some morning time here uh, today, we're going to bounce out of here. Um, but as you can see, I'm right over here. Uh, there's three little um, three trees that are kind of an interesting pattern. So that with the water swirling around, I'm just trying to see if that uh, uh, ends up looking good uh, for composition. Um, I kind of like it, but you know, it always kind of looks different on the back of my camera than when I get into pose sometimes. So um, yeah, that's good. Kind of how the morning is going to go. Um, been a really great trip, man. I we, we really couldn't have asked for any better weather. Um, it's, the spring colors here are just incredible and yeah i just love being out here so i'm gonna spend the morning out here and then probably pack up and head back head back home so um yeah we'll uh kind of see what we find out here So just finishing up here, uh, shooting in the meadow this morning, and I think we're probably going to start heading back. Um, got some interesting stuff. We'll see. Um, I, I say that a lot. I'm not sure how it's all going to kind of play out. Um, got some stuff I like, you know, just got to pro probably play around with it in uh, post-processing. So we're going to see how it all uh, how it all comes together. But um, yeah, we're going to head to the van, start heading out of the valley. If something looks good, I might pull over. But um, this will probably be the end of the video overall. So I appreciate you being here. Thanks for following along. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the uh, like and subscribe button. Those, uh, those both help me out a ton. Um, so uh, thanks for following. We'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.